What up, YouTube? All right, so I'm gonna start the process of taking off my tank, side panels, seat, so that way I have access to put the anatory quick shifter back on this bike. Uh, if you've watched any of the other videos, you know the bike came with the quick shifter, but I swapped engines due to the other one being blown up. Uh, so yeah, that's where we're gonna start today. Kinda laid out some of my uh, items that I'm gonna be needing. Obviously the module, um, let's see here. Th these will go on the coils. And then this will be power and ground wire. I uh, laid out some of the uh, tools I'm gonna need, uh, some shrink wrap, wire cutters, some snips, uh, and the cable ties or zip ties, there we go, zip ties um, for keeping everything uh, nice and clean. And then if I need any of this electrical stuff in here, then I'll have that available. All right, so I pulled this panel. Uh, the bolt for the seat is under here. So I'll go ahead and loosen this one. Now I did the same thing on the opposite side. I pulled this panel and I'm gonna go ahead and loosen the bolt on this side as well. And uh, basically pull these out, seat will come off, then we'll have access to the tank. Go ahead and pull the uh, vent hoses for the tank. One. And two. Next, I need to uh, pull the bolt here that's holding the uh, back side of the tank on. All right, next, um, you probably can't see it, but basically where the uh, fuel line attaches to the fuel pump, the bottom of the tank, I'm gonna have to pull that next. I'm not gonna be able to show that on camera, but uh, I will show you afterwards what the clip looks like and where it hooks on the tank. Okay, so two things. One, I had to unclip um, the basically clip that goes to the fuel rail slash to the fuel tank. Um, and then secondly, because I wasn't thinking about it, the uh, fuel pump um, wiring harness or fuel pump uh, wire, I had to unclip that as well. All right, uh, basically pop the, uh, I don't know what these are actually called, covers for your frame. Uh, your throttle bodies are attached to the air box. So there's a Allen on this side. There's also an Allen on the other side as well. Uh, there's only um, an Allen on this side and the other side basically there's uh, it pinches between the two so this one bolt secures these two and this other bolt secures these two I'll show you a little bit more once I um, get the air box off and then up here as well remove this 10 millimeter bolt um, and from there, I think I'll be able to pull it out um, and basically just lay it back here while I'm working. All right, so I was able to just basically lay the air box back. Uh, this one here holds it to this side, and this one over here holds it on this one. Uh, so here's your coils. Let's see if I can't get the clips on these and get it all wired up. Okay, so at first I really I was going to run the wires for the coil, coils down this side um, and over or to the back uh, where the module is going to be. However, um, I really don't want them to interfere with the throttle cables here. So I think what I'm going to do is actually run it to the opposite side. Uh, there's nothing over there that it should interfere with. Okay, so I got all the coils on, clipped in. 
I'm starting to run the wire. I did end up uh, running it down by the uh, throttle cable, but I'm gonna zip tie it. I'm trying to see if you can see it without lights. The green zip ties, which you're not gonna see when it's all buttoned up. Um, that's what I'm gonna use to basically wire it to this um, breather hose and make sure it stays out of the way of the actual throttle cables. Um, so yeah, that's my plan. And just to give you a shot, here's my clean air filter. That was a stock one. I may swap that at some point to a better, better flowing one, but we'll see. At least it's clean. The other one was completely dirty. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to keep uh, plugging away at this and hopefully maybe get to fire it up today. All right, a little update. Got the air, back, air box back on. Still need to tighten up this bolt here. Uh, hoses are on. Tank obviously isn't on. Started kind of somewhat situating the wiring. Took the battery out, which I should have did at the beginning. Um, got my ground wire on. I'm trying to decide where I want to hook the power to. You're not supposed to hook it directly to the battery. I may do that temporarily, but kind of thinking about it before I proceed. So we will see what I come up with, but modules there. I'll probably put some double-sided tape so it doesn't uh, basically get tossed around. All right, so I wired up the quick shifter just temporarily. Uh, directly to the battery just for testing purposes I am going to pull that and actually wire it into something else um, I'm going to do a little bit of research first before I decide what I'm going to plug it into it might end up being the uh, like brake light um, however so I did that I connected it to the app itself and I'll show a little bit of that um, here in a bit um, got it started up uh, basically tested it each time I shift, obviously I'm leaving the clutch in right now, but when I go to pull up on the shifter, um, it does kill uh, power. So that tells me it's actually working. Um, I got everything buttoned up except for the seat um, and the side trim pieces. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and throw those on, um, go for a ride just to see how it works, um, and then come back and button up everything a little bit better and then um, minus the seat and then I figure out where I'm gonna uh, plug that at plug that in I'm gonna remove it tonight that way it doesn't drain my battery as you'll see in my riding video um, went for a little bit of a ride basically just set my camera up um, next to the road so you could basically hear uh, me shifting and also you could hear the bike Quick shifter is awesome. Definitely, um, you got to get used to it if you've never used one, which I have not. Uh, so, definitely pretty interesting. I will have to do a ride video regarding it. Um, so now I'm just going to go through and butt up, make sure everything's tightened, um, throw the frame, trim, plug pieces on. I'm not going to throw the screws in the seat because um, I'm going to go ahead and pull the power. Okay, so as you can see, I went ahead and pulled power. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna route it up under um, basically this cowling or back piece and then see what I can plug into here. It may end up being uh, the brake light. Brake light. Um, it might be my best bet. So, yeah, that's uh, what I'm considering doing for this. Okay, so I have power on the bike, and that's because um, the power to the module itself is pulling from the brake is on. There will be power to this module. When the bike is off, there will not be power. 
Okay, so I ended up wiring it um, to my brake light up there. Basically, I just spliced it in. That is temporary. I am going to heat shrink it. Um, but basically what I did was cut the insulation off um, the power and wrapped the power to the quick shifter um, around it and then just taped it. Uh, like I said, that is temporary. I wanted to make sure it would work and then um, I'm going to come up with some sort of solution moving forward, but at least it's off of my battery for now, but it'll be a good winter project for me to um, basically wire that up a little bit better, but it should be good for now. Um, but again, I do want to heat shrink it um, and do it up, you know, properly. So uh, what's left is to get double-sided tape and basically secure it to the battery box. That way it doesn't bounce around. Uh, and then I need to throw my seat on and put the screws in for it. Aside from that, uh, throw my trim pieces on. I don't really know what those are called, but throw those on. Um, yeah, and then take you all for a ride to show you basically how it shifts. It's pretty neat. Um, obviously you can watch uh, videos on YouTube regarding it, but never had experienced it for myself. It was definitely um, a new experience and it was pretty awesome. Um, I don't know if I'll use it 100% of the time, um, but I will definitely use it often. It's pretty gnarly. Um, next, I'm gonna show you the app um, just, just because um, it's pretty interesting, pretty cool. So stand by for that. The app looks like, so basically you'll scan it, you connect, you can see it's the QS Pro 2 firmware 7.6. If you read it, basically it'll tell you what your current settings are, and you can change these settings, um, you know, to whatever. I'm just gonna put it back to what it was, but you can change these, and after that you hit upload, and it'll push it to the module. Um, so that's pretty interesting. So yeah, uh, feel free to uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know what you're thinking about this build, and what you would like to see. Thanks for watching.